But um, those electronic bowls that you would ride in the nightclub, that's what I'm seeing. And um, the, the message is no matter how rocky things get outside of you, okay, and you're riding the bowl, the bowl's going, woo! What happens here? You attempt to keep yourself stable, centered on the bowl, don't you? Yes. And I'm getting laughter. And that is what we wish for you to have within your mind moving forward, is that no matter what happens outside of you, uh, attempt to bring yourself into alignment as often as possible and keep stable. I'm so happy to be back. I uh, was down in Tampa, I should say Lakeland, just outside of Tampa, and uh, I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> I have my new chompers put in, and it's easier for me to talk, and it's just so much better. I'm so much happier with these teeth. It's not even funny. So I'm happy to be home with my new chompy chomps, and uh, I'm going to be delving in a little bit today and doing some channeling uh, for those of you that would like to connect with your higher self. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, a lot of us are connecting in with our spirit guides or we're connecting in with our angels. That's the two main areas that we're interested in uh, chatting with. But a lot of people don't understand or realize that they can also chat with their higher self, um, also known as your super conscious state of mind or your soul. And you can connect in with this energy anytime that you want your energy. Uh, which is always with you. It's flowing through you. And I remember that was one of the very first questions that I asked was, is the entirety of my soul flowing through me? Um, and the answer was no. And I said, well, why is that? So that was my very, one of my very first questions, probably about 20 years ago, I asked that question. Why? Why isn't all of my soul housed in this vessel and the and the answer that came was that your vessel would not be able to withstand that amount of energy and survive so it, it's just not possible however there is a certain amount or percentage if you want to say uh, flowing through your vessel but where is the rest of you where is it <laughs> It's also there with you. It's right nearby and you can call your higher self, your soul in to communicate anytime you wish. And sometimes that's extremely beneficial, especially when you have things happening in life and you need that different perspective, that little bit more personalized perspective. And you can call your soul in anytime and communicate with your higher self anytime you want. Okay. And of course, uh, this was not something that I realized right away when I first uh, started to awaken. Um, I wasn't uh, aware that I could chat with different ET energies, uh, starseed family members that are spending time around us energetically from other lifetimes and are assisting us here on earth. 
And I wasn't aware that you could channel your higher self and that it was always there with you. So that was uh, really new to me, really, really new. Um, I was always more drawn in the direction of the angels, whereas somebody might be drawn in the direction of spirit guides or the elemental energies. Last night, actually yesterday and last night, um, I had the fairies all around me. Uh, a lot of, of frolicking, a lot of play, a lot of excitement, uh, because that's how they are. But also, I felt like they were surrounding me and encompassing me because they're trying to lift my spirits. Come along with us, you know, and also clearing. I had a beautiful walk in the forest yesterday, and they were, there were thousands of them, thousands of them. And then, um, yeah, and then, you know, it's really fascinating. You'll sit quietly and ask if they have a message for you. They'll relay the message. Then I go to another location nearby my home, more in the city, where I know that they're coming out of a portal there. And I'll ask, do you have any guidance for me? And it's the same message. So I'm like, okay, I guess I don't have to ask them anymore. I'm getting the same message. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. But uh, for me, uh, I'm already kind of attuned to their frequency, I think. I, it doesn't take much to get me going. <laughs> Let's go, fairies! <laughs> but your higher self is more of an intimate connection with who you are. And I think that that's so important. Uh, to connect in with. Just to let everybody know that I'm going to be offering uh, reading sessions uh, connecting you with your higher self uh, through my website, kristendaviesmedium.com. So that will be a whole separate uh, service. Um, and for the next week, I'm offering 20% off that service. So if anybody feels like heading over to my website and checking that out, or if you feel like you just need that connection with your soul, uh, feel free to head over and read a little bit more and see if that resonates with you. It's always about if it resonates with you, okay? So my job is to relay what comes through without judgment, without changing it. And your job is to see if it resonates with you, whether it's me relaying guidance or you're listening to somebody else or somebody else or something else, or you're watching that program or reading that book or reading an article, your job is to see if it resonates with you. Okay. All right. So if it feels light and good, go with the flow. And if it feels tight and pulled back and heavy, then put your attention somewhere else. Okay, so as many of you know, uh, the, the reading material Journey of Souls by Michael Newton is where you can learn a lot more about your higher self, your soul. Um, he is... He, he has since passed away, um, and he but he would hypnotize people, just like Dolores Cannon, except he wrote a book about each of his experiences and what it's like on the other side and how uh, communication with each individual soul and what it was like communicating with their higher self and also communicating with their spirit guides, too, uh, and having uh, guidance come through in that way as well. It was really, really fascinating. Um, the second book after Journey of Souls is Destiny of Souls, which I've also read, which is really, really good by Michael Newton. Um, it, it was a real eye opener <laughs> and you learn a lot. Okay. So I, I just find it really interesting how these hypnotherapists have stepped forward to relay the guidance and information that we so so like Dolores Cannon, I mean, we're all uh, listening in and tuning in to what she's still saying. And she is also passed on as well. Isn't that fascinating? So your higher self, what I've come to see uh, over the years is anytime I want to connect, connect in with my higher self and each person that I work with as well, uh, the higher self always comes from above. 
uh, it doesn't it doesn't seem to come from beside below behind in front okay it comes from directly above and you'll find that you'll have a lot of pressure on the top of your head when you ask your higher self to step forward so I would like each of us to ask our higher self our soul to step forward and see what it feels like and then I want you to relax your mind Okay, and just allow your higher self to impress how it feels. What emotion is your higher self expressing through you? And then type that into the comments. And let's see what we pick up. Okay, very exciting. So we're asking our higher selves to step forward. And we can type in the comments what we're feeling. And even if you're feeling absolutely nothing, you can say nothing. The mind must be quiet and relaxed. You let your higher self do all the work. You're just going to be the observer. You may notice the energy starts to build above your head and then it starts to flow through your vessel. I'm, I'm actually experiencing a bit of that right now. And the other thing that I'm noticing is it's gotten a little bit uh, more peaceful, more calm, and more quiet. So what are each of you noticing when you ask your higher self to step forward? Your crown is tingling. Yep. Yeah. Peace and serenity. Yeah. Isn't that great? Mm. You're also noticing tingling. And so in the beginning, as we start to do this, uh, you might notice it as tingling. And then as it builds, it might feel like more pressure. And that's maybe where I'm going with the pressure. But if you're getting tingling, that's a great, great uh, starting point and it will build, okay? And you're also feeling very peaceful. So tell me what emotion is your higher self expressing through your vessel? All of a sudden you'll feel maybe a certain emotion or a certain uh, way of being, but it's not going to come from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fullness in your head it, or in your heart. Quiet and peaceful. It's gotten very still, hasn't it? That's what it's like as well. When the angels come around, it gets very quiet but they usually will come in around my ear and it gets very still. It'll, or it could go high pitch ringing, energy down into the ear canal as they're communicating, okay? They're always around us and they can you can pick up on what they're saying anytime you wish. So what is your higher self, your soul feeling? My higher self is uh, feeling, I feel the contentment. I feel very content. And then my higher self says, and very wise, a lot of wisdom. <laughs> I feel like my higher self cracks jokes like I do or trying to make me laugh, which I love. And I can also hear my higher self saying, um, move them, Kristen move them and I'm like okay no pressure or anything <laughs> but really what it is is um, my higher self is also talking about moving mountains so um, making an impact out there move them moving mountains isn't that cool but of course we all know that no one gets moved unless they want to move right I can do the best that I can and um, share what I know, but unless one is ready, 
Yes. Okay. Regal, calm, extra confident. And that's another great reason why it's so important for you to connect in with your soul, right? It can imbue that confidence uh, within you and through you, helping to steer you in the direction that is in alignment with your highest and best good. Feeling, uh, oh, feeling responsibility and moving. Ah. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's interesting when I give readings where I'm tuning in with the higher self, the higher self will be with other individuals. The higher self will be okay with stagnancy or not much movement happening with an individual. Like if the individual doesn't want to <clears throat> progress in some areas, the higher self will just hang back and wait. But I have had some readings where the higher self will step forward and say, no more, I'm ready to move. And we're going whether, whether I want it or not. Okay. So your higher self will decide it's time to go. And if we ignore that and we decide, no, I'm not doing it. I'm getting not just to move in this direction. I'm getting intuition to make this step, this leap, but I'm too scared and I won't do it. Then your higher self will make other arrangements, other things will transpire in your life to get you going in a similar direction, but in a different way. So I typically listen to my higher self. Do I want to go the easier way, uh, face the fear and do it anyways? Or do I want to go uh, a little bit more of a difficult path? I think it's pretty easy to decide. Mm hmm. That's so awesome. Okay, so I'm going to see if my higher self would like to relay a message for everyone. And then if you guys have one question uh, that you would like to ask, of course, this is a question that uh, it'll be more than does my higher self have a, a message for me? I'm probably going to skip that. If you have a specific question that you really need guidance, in regards to I'm going to move in your direction okay so let's see what my higher self would like to relay um, my higher self is talking about each of us bolstering ourselves and um, keeping our chin up oh that's so wild because my higher self used to say that to me like 20 years ago my higher self used to say keep your chin up and I'd be like, <laughs> you know, so it's about keeping our chin up, bolstering ourselves and being brave, being confident, um, stepping forth in a direction in life that brings you contentment and peace. So any time you catch yourself not feeling contentment and at peace, um, your higher self, uh, my higher self is saying <clears throat> to question, what is it that you're thinking? What is it that you're watching? What is it that you're reading? Those threes. Okay. So if you allow your frequency to drop, tank, bottom out. <laughs> and my higher self has a little bit of a grin. So if you allow your frequency to tank or bottom out, um, my higher self is uh, reminding you to shift and move in a different direction. Okay, shift gears. Okay. And that is what is most important, that we're not going to wallow in the mud on the ground. We're going to get back up and we're going to move in a different direction. Mm hmm. Okay, so what is one question that you would like to ask your higher self? Um, pop it into the comments. And uh, while I'm waiting for your question, just to let you know that today is the last day that the Animal Communication Workshop coming up May 19th until the 21st 
is 20% off. So if that's something that interests you and you'd like to come and join us, uh, there will be one live every single day over the weekend and all uh, workshop material is emailed to you so that you can download it. And if you really want to tune in and can connect with your fur babies that have crossed over and to learn more about how you can channel and connect with them, then join us. Okay, so today's the last day for 20% off. Um, and again, if you would like to have a session where you are connecting with your higher self, I'm offering 20% off that new service up on my website until May 10th at kristendaviesmedium.com. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so with Patricia, she's asking, how is it that she can stay in a higher uh, vibration. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm receiving is it's about becoming acutely aware of when your vibrational frequency or your energy drops, dear one. Okay, so we're aware in the moment. We are the stillness observing our experience in the moment, right? And don't feel that you need to get this just right or just so in the beginning but over time it becomes the more of your norm rather than <sighs> i get the sensation like i'm sitting at home alone and i feel sadness or I'm almost feeling also um, sadness, um, a little bit depressed. And, you know, with what's going on and what is transpiring right now, this is, I think, what our higher selves want us to know is that it's important to place our attention and move in directions that make us feel good. Okay, watch that funny movie. Turn that awesome high vibrational music on and dance in the house, go out for a walk, go get your nails done, you know, go for a bike ride. But to sit and wallow by ourselves, that's going to be counter, well, if we want to say productive, but um, that's a little bit. It's like, it's okay to go there, but how long are you going to go there for? How long are you going to stay there for? And really, that's what it's all about. Your higher self is talking about being the still observer and catching yourself when you do the old ways, the old tape pattern of shifting in that direction, right? Okay, anything else? Okay, um, the other thing that I'm also receiving is some of us are newer to earth than others so i'm giving the, the message here is like my mom for example my mom is quite a bit newer to earth um she has a harder time being here and that's expressed often on a regular basis and my mom has more of a low-lying energy like it's hard for her to kind of get energized or excited about things in life um, and in that regard, it's extra, extra important to do the things that get your energy going in your vessel. It's all about getting your energy going. So if we sit and there's too much stagnancy and we're not kind of getting our energy going, through um, cardiovascular exercise. I'm seeing like maybe exercises in pool classes. I'm maybe on a stationary bike. Maybe I'm on the treadmill. Maybe I'm going for a short jog. If the energy is left to be too stagnant for too long, what happens is we become sedentary, our mood, our mind, our thoughts move in this direction. And it's not 
a far stretch to have our thoughts tip over the edge and move in a downward spiral. So be sure to take good care of your vessels, eat high vibrational foods, get the energy moving in your bodies. Too much stagnancy affects you up here. And I see your higher self doing this. That's why I'm doing it. Okay. And I get this, which means th there's nothing left to be said there. That was a lot, wasn't it? Holy Toledo. Mm-hmm. I never, I never look at things like, I know in the spiritual community, it's like, I'm going to block this. I'm going to shield that. I need protection. Because if you move in that direction, you're operating out of fear. And then you are adding your energy into that which you are fearful of or um, have a problem with. So I try to move in a direction of rather than blocking low vibrational energy, I just know that the more I come into vibrational alignment, the more I lift my own vibrational frequency, the less likely low vibrational energy will be a vibrational match to my frequency. So if I don't like something out here, where do I go? Do I point out here? I go right here. That's where I go. So if you would like anything and everything surrounding you to shift and move in a different direction, the first marker would be to start within. What is it that I'm thinking? What thoughts am I housing? What people are around me? What programs am I watching? What food am I eating? Okay. And then the second, what would that be? Um, you can call in your angels to assist with this as well. Of course, my guardian angel says that, but that is it. Also, you can call in your higher self. Yeah, so that's also right. And you can call in your spirit guides, your starseed family members, your loved ones that have crossed over. Okay. But at the end of the day, my guardian angel saying this at the end of the day, we have to be ready to move in this direction. It's one thing to say it and ask, and then it's a whole other uh, on our behalf to act on it on a regular basis. Do I really want to keep thinking this thought? Is this really where I want my attention going? Do I want to manifest that into my reality? And you'll catch it. And then over time, you just go, here you go. And you hand it off to your angels and you shift and you put on some happy, more high vibrational music or you move in a different direction. You can sit and wallow too if you want. You can do that. You can sit and wallow and you can do that for two days, seven days, a month. But I think after, you know, two weeks to a month, you'll remember this conversation that we're having right now and want to move in a different direction, right? All right. Okay. So where am I here? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So when you're um, in trance, and you're connecting with whomever you're connecting with and you ask who is this what is the answer you're receiving and then i'll dive in once you put that into the comments every single energy that i'm ever connecting with it's always been really important to me to know who it is so i that was the first thing you're welcome patricia um that, that's the first thing i do is i ask and then i feel the energy I'll ask and then I'll see if I get any visuals. I'll see what the energy feels like. Does it feel more masculine? Does it feel more feminine? Does it feel angelic? Does it have a more of an earthy feel? Is it a soul that is incarnated on earth? Does it feel like an energy that is vastly different than earth? Uh, maybe possibly a starseed uh, energy from elsewhere. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the answer to that, Faith, is when our light bulb is turned on, when they know that we're ready, they come to us. And also those energies that are a vibrational match to us. So you have these energies moving in your direction because it's a good vibrational match. And I've heard this through several readings that I've had, like Archangel Gabriel will come to this client that I'll be having a reading with. Why is he there? Because that person's energy is a vibrational, is, is ready. It's ready. It's ready to hear the message. It's also a vibrational match and Gabriel feels that out of all the energies that are here to work with this client, Gabriel is the best match to work with and for the client which I'm having a reading with. It's just like when individuals are very much drawn to the soul of Jesus, I'll have Jesus come through and convey messages. I don't know that they have a strong connection with Jesus, but um, Jesus knows. And so Jesus will come through. <laughs> okay, so here we are. It's all about a vibrational match, isn't it? And I'm also talking, um, hearing them say that you're ready. So I think a lot of what they're working with you in regards to is that you're ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got one too. Hey, Terry, got an up upcoming surgery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In my mind, when I had my surgery, nobody likes to go into surgery. But at the same time, I try to think about how much better it's going to be on the other side when I come out of it which it has been. I got rocked pretty hard in the first week after having all of my teeth removed and having screws placed up into my face, um, you know, implants, but much, much better, much better. So I try to see the positive in it. And with you seeing the positive in it, then you feed that energy into the outcome of it. Okay, so Terry's higher self, where are we going with this? It's needed. It must be done. Um, hand the rest to your higher self and your team. I, and I feel like you've already done this, but your higher self will, is willing to take some of the heaviness and the load of it out of the mind. And I'm also getting the heaviness in the chest. So it's also clearing your body. <laughs> um, your higher self is talking about, um, and I've said this before, you guys, where we worry about something, we worry about it, and then we get to the other side and we say to ourselves, man, I went and I worried all that, put all that energy in, dropped my frequency, tanked myself, worried, 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 and it was all for naught. Okay, so it's all for naught if we go in that direction right now, Terry. Remember that. And I get a lot of stillness and a lot of peace coming from your higher self. <laughs> and I also get confidence. Okay, so your higher self is confident in this direction, this path, and um, knows that everything will be just fine. So the only last step is you following my lead, moving in this direction, dear one. Follow in my direction. Follow my lead. I will assist you, help you, guide you, should you wish, should you choose. Thank you. And then thanking me. That's awesome. It's all good. Never fun. Never, like, nobody signs up, you know, for, for a fun ride with that. But it's the overall outcome on the other end being much better. I've had one, two, three. I've had three surgeries in the past three years. Um, and, and then I was adding it all up in my head. 
I think I've had nine or 10 surgeries in my entire life. So I know, <laughs> I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It always does feel like that in the beginning. You'll feel an energy, you'll kind of sense them come in and you do think, oh, am I making that up? I, I'm doubting this, but I maybe this is, uh, I'm questioning this or second guessing this. And the number one thing that I teach during my mediumship for beginners course that I offer anyone that would like to join is, and that one's coming up in July, by the way, is to go with the first that you are receiving. Okay, so don't second guess and don't think that you're making it up. So whomever you are receiving, that's who it is. Okay. So what, what does that do? It um, stops you from um, holding back and like second guessing yourself all the time because you can go on that train for years. Second guessing, second guessing. Oh, I don't know. And I've done it. That's why I, I'm saying this. Also, when you go with the first that you are receiving, um, everything just flows. You're not blocking the energy. The energy just keeps flowing. And if by some rare, minute chance that you're completely wrong, the beauty of going with the first thing that you get is that the energy can continue to flow and then you'll pick up on who it really is shortly after because they don't stop sending the sig signal until you get it accurate. Has she received this accurately as to who is visiting her in this trance? Yes, 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 correct, correct, correct. Go with whom you have received. Thank you. There you have it. Correct. They're not stopping. <laughs> <clears throat> awesome. I'm also getting that um, you're very open to receiving information from the other side, and it's really quite fluid with you. Just got to get out of your head about it. So just go with the flow and get and go with the first thing that you get. Don't second guess yourself. Don't doubt yourself, because you don't want to go years down the road always feeling insecure about what you're receiving. It's not even about that. It's not even about who's coming to visit you. It's about you building the confidence within yourself and channeling the energy in such a way that you're confident and you know and you go with the first thing that you get. And now we're just going with the flow. The energy can flow more flu freely and fluidly through you. That's what's most important. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. They're showing me, you, you remember when we were younger, we used to go to the nightclubs and there used to be those electronic bowls and then you were like, oh, I'm going to go in the bowl. I never did. <laughs> I never did. <laughs> I was like, you guys go ahead. I'll be over here watching and having a good time <laughs> clapping for you. But I would see others go on the bowl and um, you had to hold on to the bowl and then they would, they take it easy on you in the beginning, right? And then they ramp it up and then you'd be like, woo look they're still hanging on <laughs> but um those electronic bowls that you would ride in the nightclub that's what i'm seeing and um the the message is no matter how rocky things get outside of you okay and you're riding the bowl the bowl's going woo what happens here you attempt to keep yourself stable centered on the bowl, don't you? Yes. And I'm getting laughter. And that is what we wish for you to have within your mind moving forward, is that no matter what happens outside of you, uh, attempt to bring yourself into alignment as often as possible and keep stable. Okay? No matter how rocky 
things may get, no matter how difficult things may get, the more centered within you are, it is the law of attraction. Therefore, things begin to smooth themselves out over time, don't they? So as you move forward and you keep this stability within, this calm centeredness within, the more everything outside of you must follow suit. And it's also extremely important that we keep our lights really bright during this time on earth as we have a lot of board pieces moving on earth at this time. We have um, also some shakeups happening and your vibrational frequency being stabled and centered and high vibrational and bright is greatly needed for the mass collective as we move through this tumultuous time. And they're showing me this time on earth being what a duck does. It ruffles its feathers. Okay. So on earth right now, the earth, everything that's transpiring on earth is a lot of ruffling of feathers. But also reminded that once the duck ruffles its feathers, it gets smoothed back out again and it relaxes into the water. Some things come in cycles, especially here on earth. So you, we might encounter some rough patches and then it smooths out and calms. But the overall goal moving forward here on earth is to bring about a much more enlightened, peaceful, playful, high vibrational playground for souls to come back to when incarnating. Thank you, dear ones. Have a wonderful week, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.